हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई वेलकम यू अगेन ऑन द सेकेंड कोर्स ऑन नॉन कन्वेंशनल मशीनिंग मेथड आई एम ऋषभ ओसफर एंड आई एम क्रिएटिंग दिस वीडियो सीरीज फॉर द गेट एंड आई एस एस्पेरेंट्स दिस इज अबाउट मी आई एम द गोल्ड मेडलिस्ट इन एम टेक इन मैन्युफैक्चरिंग इंजीनियरिंग फ्रॉम वी आई टी यूनिवर्सिटी वेल्लोर आई हैव स्कोर नाइन पॉइंट फोर सी जी पी ए प्रायर टू माई एम टेक आई हैव वर्क इन एम एन सी इन सीमेंस लिमिटेड इन परचेज डिपार्टमेंट एंड आई वॉज एन इंटर्न इन इंगर शोल्डर एंड एन थर्मैक्स लिमिटेड आई हैव क्वालिफाइड गेट इन टू थाउजेंड थर्टीन करंटली आई एम वर्किंग एज एन असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन वन ऑफ द इंजीनियरिंग कॉलेज आई एम पैशनेट अबाउट टीचिंग and i am creating this video series for the mainly for gate and is aspirants so please share like and comment if you found this video helpful and if you have not seen my previous video which was created on ultrasonic machining that is usm so please do watch so let us begin second process on non conventional machining that is electric discharge machining it is abbreviated as edm so this is the setup for edm if you see with the various part it consists of tool this tool it is connected to positive terminal okay then this is the workpiece okay which is connected to the negative terminal of the battery then there is continuous supply of dielectric fluid through pump now this dielectric fluid if you see <clears throat> it insulates the complete workpiece from the tool and it creates resistance to the electricity okay so that is the basic function of dielectric it's a insulating medium now whenever there is gap between tool and workpiece when this gap is very small what happens as this tool are connected tool and workpiece both are connected to the power supply the electric field intensity between this gap it increases and it breaks down this dielectric thereby there is supply of current or there is flow of current between this tool and workpiece now as this gap is very small sparking takes place now due to sparking heat intensity or heat it gets generated tremendously and the temperature in this region it increases beyond the melting point of the workpiece thereby material it gets removed by melting and vaporization so this is the first principle by which material or chip gets produced in electric discharge machining that is what melting and vaporization now during this sparking what happens the pressure in this area it gets lowered as compared to atmospheric pressure okay it decreases beyond the atmospheric pressure thereby what happens cavitation takes place cavitation means in short bubble formation takes place okay so the mechanism by which chip get produced in electric discharge machining that is edm is what melting plus vaporization plus cavitation okay so this is the first point which i would like to cover that is mechanism of chip formation it's a spark erosion and cavitation or you can say melting vaporization and cavitation now second point which tool material should be used now tool material it should have high melting point and it should be a very good conductor that is it should have high electrical conductivity so generally copper tungsten or copper tungsten alloy which is having a very good or very high melting point and these are also very good conductors so generally these tool materials are used in electric discharge machining now third point wear ratio okay as we have also seen previously what do you mean by wear ratio wear ratio is what it's a volume of material removed from the workpiece divided by volume of tool wear 
So in case of EDM, generally 0.1 to 10, this ratio is 0.1, its value is 0.1 to 10, it ranges between this. Now, this wear ratio, it also depends on difference between the melting point temperature of tool and workpiece. For example, if melting point, MP is melting point, if melting point of tool is much higher than the workpiece, definitely wear ratio is going to be higher. Why? Because wear ratio is what? Wear ratio is volume of material removed from the workpiece divided by volume of tool wear. Now if melting point of tool is very high, definitely tool wear will be less. So as your denominator is less, definitely wear ratio will be high. Okay. Now if melting point of tool is less than the workpiece, definitely wear ratio will be less because our denominator that is volume of tool wear it will be high because melting point of tool is less. So you have to remember this two point that wear ratio it also depends on melting point temperature of tool and workpiece. Okay. Now four point we have seen dielectric fluid it plays a very important role in EDM. So in generally kerosene is used as dielectric fluid. Now, what are the advantages and disadvantages of EDM? First advantage, EDM, it does not depend on mechanical properties of workpiece. We have seen USM, in USM your material, your workpiece material should be brittle, right? Now, in case of EDM, it does not depend on mechanical properties. It depends on electrical properties but not mechanical properties. Now, second advantage, there are no forces acting on the workpiece. So, no residual stresses are present in workpiece. If you compare this process with USM, we have seen that abrasive, it is acting an impact load on the workpiece. Okay, so there are forces gets act on the workpiece in USM. But in case of EDM, there are no such forces are acting on workpiece. Now, third advantage is, surface when is produced will be better. Now this was disadvantages in USM. Okay. See side by side you have to you must be able to compare the various non-conventional machining methods. Right. In for example surface finish if you compare two processes let's say ultrasonic machining and electric discharge machining. In ultrasonic machining surface finish produced is not good but you get a very good surface finish in case of EDM. Okay, so you should be able to compare the processes. Okay, that is very important. Fourth advantage is L by D. It is twenty. If you remember in my previous uh, in my previous video, in case of USM, this was this ratio was only three. Okay, maximum three. L is length and D is diameter. So length to diameter, if you take the ratio, it is twenty maximum. Okay. And if you compare all the non-conventional machining method, okay, starting from USM to electric beam machining, this EDM it is having highest material removal rate. This is very very important. Highest material removal MRR. Okay, you may get a direct question. Highest material removal rate in which of the process? So EDM. Now, what are the disadvantages? Okay, what are the disadvantages of EDM? First, very simple, workpiece must be electrical conductive, right? Now, as temperature involved in this method are high, there are chances of hardening of workpieces, okay? And through this, perfect square hole are not possible, okay? So, there is a small mistake is there, spelling mistake, possible. So, perfect square holes are not possible with EDM, right? But these are possible through USM. Okay, so side by side, we are also comparing the USM versus EDM. Okay, important point is highest material removal rate among all the non-conventional machining method. It is in EDM. Now, last point, what are the application of this? So first application, it is used in producing holes in dies. 
that is termed as dye shrinking okay now second application it is used for producing holes in hydraulic and pneumatic valves okay third application it is used for producing holes in air brakes okay and last you can able to have the hole size up to 0.1 mm okay so this is the application part again i am repeating it is used in die shrinking in hydraulic and pneumatic valves then in air brakes it is used for producing the holes and up to 0.1 mm generally if you want to have the hole size of 0.1 mm you can go for edm okay so this is all about edm so let's quickly revise it we have seen that edm principle is spark erosion or you can say melting vaporization and cavitation okay tool material it should have the high melting point and it should be a very good electrical conductor so you can go for copper or tungsten or copper tungsten alloy wear ratio it also depends on the melting point of tool and work pieces it's generally range it ranges between 0.1 to 10 in advantages you have to remember that this edm it does not depend on mechanical properties of the workpiece and very important it is having highest material removal rate okay then disadvantages electrical conductive material should be there okay that we have to remember and application these are the various application like die shrinking in hydraulic pneumatic valves and in air brakes and 0.1 mm so this is all about edm process in the coming lecture we are going to see the third non conventional machining method that is electrical chemical machining that is acm please do like this video if you have any question you can post below thank you